Hey guys, Darth Lork here, back with part two of my Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Season 2 playthrough modded. Uh, welcome back. So last time we got real far, uh, right out the gate. Uh, we obviously started the episode and uh, made it all the way to the Undercity. And uh, I, I wasn't trying to like blow through it or anything, but we still made it like insanely far. So that feels good. And now we're back. So we're just continuing to explore, explore the Undercity. Uh, I don't know if we need to talk to the Hidden Bex quite yet. Give that a second. I think we'd rather go deal with this. Get him! Felt that. Get him! I almost have him. Nice. You asked for this! And he's dead. I'm just gonna see if they have loot. Oh, some of them do. Nice. Some credits. Never a bad thing. What's up, people? You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik doing anything for his share. We do all the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. That's a bold strategy to take. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the Black Volkers. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Candorous. We didn't know you were working for Davik now. Yeah, we were just goofing around here. We don't want no trouble with the Mandalorian. Here's Davik's cut. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. There you go. Hey, what up? Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Uh, who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Gotcha. Well, it was great seeing you anyways. Okay, so there's obviously craziness that way. What's over here? Oh, more apartments. I'll explore the apartments. I'm down for that. Oh, look who it is. You seem to be taking great interest in our progress. You need something, little man? Quiet, Lugro. That's Kalo Nor, the infamous bounty hunter. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Only way you'll collect that bounty is over our cold, dead bodies. That's the plan. I'm like, that was cool. I was like, I, if I was him, I'd be suspicious how I happen to be walking in every time he happens to be taking care of bounties. Oh, there's black vulcans that way. I think they're too far to trigger, though. And I think I'm willing to risk it. Hang on, I'm having trouble. I can't. Hang on. Ugh. There we go. Like the game was mad, couldn't figure out what I wanted. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Swoop platform. Well, that's interesting. Okay, now I think we should probably deal with them. So there is two of them. I could just frag up. They didn't like that. Got him. Hark, it's Black Walkers. Just ran him right through. And him. All right. Which makes sense. I am holding two lit lightsabers, so it makes sense to me. Okay, they don't have loot. I was wondering if they would have loot. I will 
wait for that. Don't trigger. This is a black Volker turf. You'll pay for this. Yeah, I know. It's it's going around. Don't turn your back on me. That's freaking rude, bro. Got him. Oh, well, now they're on to us. Come through the grenades. There you go. I can't really... That's fine, I'll just go around it. So I'll just go around it. Hey, uh... Ready. I guess he doesn't have uh, any kind of disable. I'm here. All right, well, don't step on it. There we go. <laughs> this freaking idiot! I knew he was gonna walk right over it. <laughs> I knew he was gonna walk right over it, bro. Uh, the electronic personal message center. Hey, alarm! How's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left on Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you, may, you may, yeah, because you might need it. Like, ter Terrace isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous here. Stay away from those soup gangs. Keep everything locked away in the old strong box. Nobody's going to be blasting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon. Let's see. Unless. There we go. <laughs> Uh, particularly sturdy is computerized touch panel password entry system. Because the box is older, off planet model, no interface, we'd try to slice, figure out the password. Try to enter the password. Uh, please enter proper password responses. Name of your pet, Hyperdrive. Who taught you to fire a blaster? My uncle. How'd your family come from originally? It was Alderon. Yup. I have reading comprehension. Yay. Alright, blaster pistol. Fancy armor. I don't suppose. This would be better for what's his face. Plus four, plus eighteen. Max dexterity bonus is better on the uh, fiber armor though, and otherwise it's about the same. So I think he'll just keep what he has. I'm here. All right. Uh, we kind of need to bounce back home and heal, brother, because I don't really want to. Uh... Oh, let's deal with this first. <laughs> Hey, you nerd! Got him. Oh, level up. Well, that'll ensure he gets healed. Level up. Skills. Uh, I guess you can go into treat injury. Alright, so he does have dual weapon fighting, which makes sense. He holds two pistols. Blaster pistols all the way up, of course. Toughness could be good for him. It's just like more health, you know, but increasing other things like his power attack could be good. But I think he's regular, usually using regular attacks, to be honest. Computer skill, saving throws. I think we might give him toughness, to be honest. Toughness for health. What? All right, well, maybe now we don't need to run back. All right, so there's the thing we just uh, took care of. Hang on, does this guy have loot? Oh, I swear he did. Alright. Uh, I guess he, uh, I guess not. Low security door. What's in here, pray tell? That's a strong door. There you go. <laughs> hey, bro. You asked for this! Got him. All right, I'll talk to you in a second. I want to see if he has loot. He does. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Uh, just exploring. Didn't know anyone was here. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. Oh, really? I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone. But I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Second only to me, obviously. Alright, so first I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. Ah. Oh. 
Do this to cancel, and then we'll just hit this immediately. Oh, she just saves, dude. No, not behind. I mean right now. Hit my buffs. <laughs> Bitch. She was tough, though. Good lord. I don't think the resistance has helped. I don't... I mean, she was... I mean, she was shooting, but then she got into melee. So, you know. Scope. Ooh. She got some... Some fancy... Fancy gear. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, Neural Band will save. Uh, is Will something I, like, really could use? I mean, I think any saves are good saves, right? I just, I don't, I just don't know what's most useful, and I care about, about me more than I care about cards, so. Alright, what is this? Uh, more reflex saves. I'll take those, too. I get all the bonuses. <laughs> However, I will give you one of the shields, though, Garth. I'm here. Alright, you have a basic med pack? Thank you. Okay. Now she was a little spooky, but now she's dead. Hello, citizens. Hello, Volkers. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated. Got him. And I leveled, so that's a good thing. Credits, energy shields, Volker shock stick, combat suit. Very nice. Okay, some good supplies there. Ooh, there was a upgrade for something there. Alright, and then I leveled up. So, uh, persuade anybody? <laughs> This is nothing but persuade. It's so ridiculous. All right, and I can't grab heal, so uh, I could do fear, cower and fear for six seconds. It is a dark side power, which of course fits me more. But it's it's basically a stun. It's just it'll make him cower and fear. Um, let's see. Could, charisma negates this effect. The attacking characters wisdom and charisma and the modifiers negates this effect. Oh. Oh, no, Ed, that's a good thing. A successful will save at a DC of 5 plus the attacking, plus the attacking character's level, plus the attacking character's wisdom and charisma modifiers negates this effect. So, wait, no, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> I can't tell. Maybe just go for a regular stun. That might be smarter. Uh, plus the attacking character's wisdom and charisma. Yeah, see, so that would be good for me. I guess we'll go a stun, I suppose. I guess. More good stuff there. Nice. Alright, we got all those already. Don't mind me, citizens. Ah, lower city. Alright, well the good news is now Karth and I don't need to heal, so. Assassin girl was uh, a little, little scary. Alright, let me check the map, make sure we're going the new direction, but obviously we're good. Hark, I see Sith in the distance. Black Volker, eh? Get him! How'd you like that? And they're dead. Just making sure they don't have loot, but it does not look like it. Alright. Something something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him, see if you can know he can get him to open up about it. Speak to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? Is this a good time to ask you more questions? I'm all ears, beautiful. Uh Beautiful, isn't that a little inappropriate? I mean I am beautiful, but how about you piss off? Is there something else you'd prefer I called you? I prefer you didn't call me anything, it's demeaning. How about, how about my name? Don't get yourself in a twist over it, Gorgeous. I didn't mean anything by it. Wow. There you go again. Oh, for crying out... 
fine. If it'll make you feel better, you call me something. Go ahead. Come on. I can take it. Uh, sexist worm, pushy thug. What? Don't be ridiculous. What are you afraid you'll hurt my feelings? Come on, spit it out. You can do it. Forget it. Let's go back to my questions. Oh, all this is today, eh? Are those questions really necessary? I feel like you're just deflecting. Uh, not if you have a problem with it. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. This is an interrogation? I never said that. No, I was just joking. Though, you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Okay. Um... Like you said when we first met, Bastila didn't uh, didn't have time to use her powers. True. Bastila is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Uh, don't I mean, say it like that. I guess that no she Jedi didn't. ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Um, so, uh, like, don't phrase it like that. She, she did not defeat Revan, okay? She was part of a team that defeated Revan. If you can even really call it a defeat. <laughs> Alright, uh, I was in a, uh, so this is part of the mod, obviously. Uh, it, I was an apprentice on Coruscant. I was assigned to the Endar Spire. It was in an, it was an unusual request. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Uh... What's so odd about me being added to the crew at last? Well, obviously, I know what he's insinuating. Are you implying I had something to do with the crash? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. I'm a powerful individual. Uh... I have no idea what you're talking about. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Uh, I'm telling you, Garth, I had nothing to do with the crash. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Are you always this suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Uh... Yes, let's do that. Good. Like I said before, I prefer action to talk anyway. I mean, hey, you don't want to tell me, don't, don't fucking tell me. Like... <laughs> Don't tell me, but hey, that's cool with the mod. The mod obviously works, though. It like you know, that's super neat. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Okay. Good. I don't have time for this foolishness. Down here, we run a tight ship, not like the slipshod operations in the upper city. Okay, you got it. All right, so that is that is the place to the way to that's way that's a way to the uh, super deep, dark, scary, spooky ass undercity. So now we can go ahead and check in with the Black Volkers because it is the only thing left down here, and I could and I might be able to squeak past him with ditching Karth, putting on the Sith armor and all that stuff. But I almost think that the that the Becks have a way in there, like, and maybe they have maybe they give me the I give them the Sith armor and trade for papers to just get down there. Something like that, so. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? Uh, I need Gadon's help. I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Volker gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Maybe a, a, a bribe could get me in? My loyalty's not for sale. <laughs> I've been with the Hidden Becks for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. No. Oh, maybe I could be an ally against all those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. 
And you don't look like you're with the Vulkers or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you, you can sure? do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you're gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. No, oh, oh dear, oh no. The hidden Vex are watching me. I'm really scared of you guys, so that makes sense. She's like, you don't look like you're with the Sith or the or the Vulkers. So I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> I, I look like I'm with the Sith. I don't know, the Vulkers maybe, but I absolutely look like I'm with the Sith. I blend right in. Anyway, that kind of kind of made me laugh. Uh, I guess I'll just speak to him first, just in case they really Hold freak it right out. There. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. Mm hmm. I don't know why I had to walk around the desk. Zandra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Uh, you have problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so True. far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. Uh, I need information on those Republic escape pods that crash on the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> they might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, See, she Zedra. gets it. <laughs> if the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith yet. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcars aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Vassal's a slave? Well, that, what'll happen to her now? Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. They still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Uh, swoop race? What does that have to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Uh, Gadden, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Uh... What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. 
I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get inside the Volker base? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed and to life is a nightmare. <laughs> Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Where can I find Mission? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I've got some Sith uniforms to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. True. Okay, I'll trade the uniforms for the papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, I'll be back when I have the accelerator. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Okay. What's this way? Okay. <laughs> okay, just like starts, starts exploring his base. I better save it in case they get, like, hostile that I'm just exploring their base. Ah, okay, I'm noticing a trend. Alright. So all the doors are locked except for the main room, though, which is fine. Excuse me. I don't suppose there's anything juicy on this side. Oh, this one's open. Something very loud is outside my door, or my window. Okay, that one's locked. Okay, noticing a trend. The whole base is locked, so I'll stop screwing around in here. And, uh... And we will dip. Now that I have the papers, we can go to that door. Okay, so, uh, I ran back to the hideout, and I, uh... Was checking out our upgrades. Uh, nothing benefited me at all, but Karth got a t got two upgrades for his armor and one upgrade for his blaster, his go-to blaster, and uh, so he so he benefited. He got three upgrades. I got none. So, but uh, but he got something good, which is nice. And then I was almost back to the door to the door, and he apparently wants to speak again. Uh, speak to Karth. Yes. What's on your mind? I want to discuss something with you. You do. Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? I want to talk about these issues you seem to have with me. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You've saved my butt more Let's than go. once, and I'm lucky to have you here to help me. No question. Hell yeah. It doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Okay, I get it. And what exactly are you watching me for? I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I... Well, it won't happen again. That's all. Um... Of course it won't happen again if you never trust anyone. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. I'm not insulted. Uh... Right, and how am I supposed to know that you won't betray us? Me. Yes, yes, you. Why should I trust you, after all? You shouldn't. If you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. Ah, the only one I trust is myself. Haha. Uh... Ah, so you don't trust yourself, is that it? I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? Uh... That settles that, I guess. <laughs> why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We go I don't time. care. So can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, mean, I don't care. Don't don't trust me, bro. I'm not going to carry you forever anyway. When I have better options, I'm trading up. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I've got the proper papers. Let me see. Look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you though. The undercity is crawling.
dealing with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Got you. Thank you, officer. <laughs> it's just like so polite. <laughs> Appreciate you, officer. You stay safe up here, sir. <laughs> It's like, wow, he's awfully polite. You there, upworlder. Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. I know. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. God, it's just like home. <laughs> Even the beggars are trying to rob you. Um. Uh. Get out of here, you filthy beggars. I'll use my blaster to end your suffering permanently. Yeah, I don't have a blaster, but you get the point. Run, my brother! Flee this one's run! Like I will cut Go you in on, half. you two. Get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's Sahara Sartori. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Uh... It's a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Hmm. Do you th so, why are these people down here? Like, is it just because they're poor? Like, are, are they, like, is some sort of infection thing, like, going on? Like, are you, are, like... Is the Sith, the Sith guy at the door and all the turrets, do they keep the, the elevator locked down because you're not allowed to leave the Undercity? Like, is there no other way up? Like, when, why are they down here and not allowed to leave? Are they are they not allowed to leave? Like, I, I don't know. I guess I just don't know the story about, like, like, what's the lore? Why are they locked down here? You know, but my thought is, like, okay, well, unless you're locked down here, couldn't you just leave? Like, I mean, if you take this elevator, is the, is the Sith up there going to shoot you dead because you whatever used it? Like, I don't know. Uh, Rukil, who's that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The Promised Land? What's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukia. Where can I find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The oh. children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Hmm. Uh, where can I find Gendar? He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Gotcha. Do you know anything about escape pods that crash into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? Uh, any uploaders come through here recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Gotcha. Uh, I'll be going. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. I will, Shalina. You're sweet. I like you. I like you. All right, um, random people. All right, so we're looking for either Gendar or Rukil. Hey, you ain't from the village. Good You're looking from out. the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Fagir. I run a little salvage shop here. 
You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. No. Yeah, okay. You'll come back and see me if you want a deal. I don't want a deal. There's nothing you could have that I would want. Nothing, I tell you. I don't know. Do you sell lightsaber parts? Seems unlikely. Okay, so there's the gate stuff. I don't really want to trigger all that yet. So let's bounce to the other side. Because they're probably over here somewhere. Let's see. So there's Selena. Oh, there's Gendar. And Rukio. Okay, well, let's start with Rukio. Hey. You. You come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you uh, the herald of prophecy? The nope. beacon to guide us through the darkness? Nope. Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? That's be me. Careful. I'm this that one. won't be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak He's a hundred. <laughs> He's over a hundred. what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation. Speak up, worlder. I beg you. Uh... What are you talking about, old man? A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. I'm Sahara Sartori. What, uh, what do you want from me, Rukil? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. Uh, what happened to, the, to your apprentice? My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she... Found. I will help you with this, Rukil. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Secret knowledge? I'm interested. I'll be back when I find anything out. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Oh, I will. And run across the street. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Uh, who are you people? Why do you live here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. Oh, that's why they can't leave. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants. But somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Oh, that's why they're down here. So maybe one of their ancestors did a crime, and so they were sent down here, and then they just raised generations down here. And then maybe some of them were in in their lifetime, they did something wrong, and then they were sent down here. That's why they're down here. So and they can't return. I imagine then the Sith would probably gun them down. Like they are locked. They are locked down here. And obviously the Sith are only a recent thing. So even if the Sith wouldn't do it, the other whatever. Security force of the planet the whatever local police they would they would probably do it <laughs> So that's why they're down here. They were they've been banished down here for crimes or whatever Interesting uh, What a horrible way to live life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit many in the village have become bitter and hopeless Especially those newly cast down but life goes on and we must try to make the best of what we have and maybe someday We will find a better life <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rukil. kill I noticed. Uh, I know who he is. Tell me about the Rackles that live down here. The Rackles are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. 
Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Questions? Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Got you. Looking for a Twi'lek, my mission vow. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, think, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Got you. Ask your Okay, um... You said something about... Okay, you said something about other upworlders who came by here recently? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Gotcha. As you wish, upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. Gotcha. You know, it occurs to me on an RP perspective, it kind of makes sense why my character would be helping people and like being nice and stuff at this point because my, remember, my character believes she's a Jedi. So, an, an apprentice and like her circumstances are unusual and all, the, all that other stuff, but she does believe she's a Jedi. So it makes sense that she would be doing it things this way until we learn things later and as things develop and her choices will probably get steadily darker. And then as I get more companions, I, I can carry companions that'll approve of my dark decisions, that kind of thing. So it, it, it makes sense in my head for an RP perspective, why I would be nice in the beginning and meaner later, you know? Oh dear. You screwed up. <laughs> Ew, it's all slimy. Help! It's right behind me! Help! Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the Rakuls are so near. Open the gate, I will kill the Rakuls. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Hurry, while the gate is still open. You must save Hindar. Oh, I will. Oh, it has a save. That sucks. Come on. Got us both, dude. You have... Ouch. There you see. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hindar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. You're welcome. What do you think about that? Thank you for saving Hindar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Uh, no. Goodbye. I don't think there's anything you, you could tell me. See, that disease is fine if you're tough like Karth and I. All right, uh, give it a save because that went pretty well. I tried. To, I tried to stun him to see if I could have that work, but all right. Well. We have the outside to explore. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and go this way. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. Oh shit. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Whoa. Slow down. I, I was funny. I just, just saying that. The second I said it, it popped up. It's like I was reading it already. Well, slow down, mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. 
big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Um, just calm down, Mission. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rack Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Uh, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds him of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. If I help you get Zalbar back, you have to help me get inside the Vulcar base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Vulcar base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Vulcar compound. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go. Alright. What? Leveling. Okay, so she's a blaster character, so obviously this stuff is good for her. She needs more constitution, though. Okay, um, so she's computer use. She has. She does do demolition, stealth, awareness, security. Good lord. Okay, let's go security, computer use, awareness, and demo. Okay, nice. And then mission, my friend, what are you wearing? That's just her just her clothes. Alright, well she needs something better than that. So 21, that's pretty damn good. There we go, she can wear those. And I, I gotta see if she has more than one feet for that. You can get an energy shield. And she has a stealth field generator, which makes sense. Okay, um character wise, uh do you have like dual dual weapon? No, okay. So, she does have proficiency with lots of things, but including rifles. She has sneak attacks. Scoundrel's luck. And she does have dueling. Characters that focus on single, one-handed weapons in battle gain. Plus one to attack and plus one defense due to efficiency in the form of combat. Applies to range and melee. So, really, she should just use, like, one blaster pistol. Is really just what she should do. That, that should be her shtick. Because she has bonuses to dueling already, so. So, I think you're good just the way you are there, mm -hmm. darling. Okay, you can join the family. It's nice to have another companion in my side. All right, rubble. Some little 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 smuts, lower sewers. We're not doing that yet. I gotta finish exploring, bro. Ooh, Candorous. Don't, don't move. I'm, I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rack ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Uh, why? Is there some danger down here? Watch, obviously I already knew that. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rack ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rack ghoul. I would say so. Here they come. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Indeed. Get lightning, idiot. Ah. Got him. And Damn. then there were two. <laughs> I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rack ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. 
What do you mean by that? Davok sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davok won't like that. Uh, what do you can tell me? What can you tell me about Davik? What are you, an off-worlder? Yes. Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taris. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. What can you tell me about the gangs? This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs, but the two most important ones are the Hidden Bex and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Bex were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately, the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulcans have already sent their own salvage party down here. Gotcha. Come on, boys, let's move out. Well, good luck with the one dude that survived. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where did we? Okay, so we're still going the right way. Rakul. Zap. Deleted. Got him. Okay. Whoa. I will tank them all. Aha. You just have to be better than the ones you're fighting. Promised Land, Apprentice Journal. Okay, well, we found out what happened to his apprentice. As if anybody's surprised. Okay, I'm the one that's tanking a lot of this shit, so... Yeah, I, I know. I, don't mind the frag mine. I'm sure it's fine. Head back and some credits. Computer spike and some credits. It's a rusted century droid. I don't really know if we need this guy, to be honest. What? I mean, we could, but I'm kind of hesitant to spend the parts. I think mm -hmm. I, I feel like we're doing fine. Oh, mission yeah? though. Hey, you have de you have demo. You wanna maybe try to recover the mine? What? Very nice mission. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so there's all of that sector. So now we can... And that's uh, that's to the sewers. But we can just cut through here and go check out this other side. See what's going on. So there's a well, sewer entrance. And we already explored the rubble. But I'll check it again. Yeah. Okay. Now we're just hugging the wall. We're gonna check what's going on over here. Oh lordy. Okay, hang on. Uh, forget the all of that for a minute. Hey, you black Volker dog! All right, I'm ready. Here we go. Not that, idiot. Wait, don't kill me. I surrender. I surrender. You better answer my questions if you want to live. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Who do you work for? I work for Brezhik, head of the Black Volker gang. He told us to kill anyone who came snooping around. Why? Are, were there any survivors at the crash site? There was one survivor, a female Republic officer. Bastilla or something like that. Brezhik took her back to the Black Volker base as his prisoner. Uh... Time to die! What? But I surrendered! Damn you! 
Yeah, well, you don't give your you don't give your victims any sympathy, do you? There you go. I may think she may think she's a Jedi, but you know, doesn't mean she has doesn't have dark impulses huh? that she's like, huh? Where did that come from? It's almost like there's something previous about my about about what? me once upon a time that I don't remember. But who can say? Okay. Uh, now we can go to the, uh, yeah. actually mission, just, you better lead the way. You better lead the way, because there's going to be quite a few of these mines to take out. And heaven knows if your companions will walk right through it, so. You may as well just, uh, disable these the old-fashioned way. Oh, there's someone over there. We'll just, we'll deal with that in a second. Beautiful. I'm here. Republic soldier. Help! Help me, please. I I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing, like some kind of hideous disease. Uh. Wait here. I'll see if I can find something to help you. No, no. I can feel it. Ah! Oh God. <laughs> Zombies, dude. They're like freaking zombies. <laughs> Got him. Well, that was spooky. All right. I'll check the map. Okay. All right. Well, that was spooky. So there's the out, there's the, the the gate for the people. Just gonna run over here and see whatever this is. Ah, uh, there was that was something weird. I just hit grab just because I wasn't sure what the hell it was. Yeah, this. Oh, it's a lightsaber. Dark side plus three. Ooh, ion damage bonus. Oh my god. Blaster deflection. The Lily of Felucia. Felucia. This artistic and well-crafted lightsaber hilt was made in the older, more peaceful days of the Republic, where the hilt was more seen as a token and a prestige object by Jedi Masters. Shaped after the Felucian jungle flower, this hilt is not only for display, it's a light and curved hilt, perfect for quick successive slash, slash attacks. Oh, shit. And I could use it, and it would be very good. Wait, is this like a... Oh, it's like a... Oh, I didn't... I thought it was a two-handed lightsaber. Here, can I put the other one in? Uh, all right, what does that do for this? So it's plus eight. So the short saber is still a little better because it makes it plus ten. But, I mean, for the chances to hit, it makes my primary a little better, but my... Four to eighteen, though, it's a little better on the other one. I'll take that. Oh, my God. Wow, look at that fancy-ass hilt, dude. Cool. Yes. That, that might be a mod thing. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Uh. A little close, bro. Look, I've got the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. Oh, yeah, I'm a tracker. Last one patrol. We figure the rack goal. Got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack gall serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. I hear you. You said you lost one patrol already? Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Uh... You should just follow your orders and keep looking. Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court-martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Oh. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant-infested hole. Move out! Okay, well, good luck. Good luck, Sith guy. Which I have no problem with. 
He's like, wow, really? No problem with it at all? It's like, nope. Thick as thieves, him and I. This'll be fun. Kia. Yeah. Shoot him, my friends. Nice. Huh? You need to level up. Okay, uh, you can go ahead and get computer use, demo, and do that. Sneak attack three. All right, um, I'm sort of thinking getting another bonus of dueling. It just helps her hit things with her primary blaster. So I think I'm gonna give her a second level of dueling. Just so it helps her hit things. I'm here. Always a good move. Okay, and this is a, and this is a nothing door. Got it. Oh lord. There's more. Oh, and they didn't. Uh... Kill them. Slay them all. Nice. Okay. Um, uh, health. Ah, well, we found the Sith Patrol. Antidote kit, beam splitter, med pack, heavy combat suit, blast rifle, rackle serum. Ah, I got the serum. Now I can figure out what I want to, who I want to give it to. Cool. Well, that was lucrative. There's another corpse over here. Nice. Okay, so there's another sewer entrance. Okay, I th yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's it actually. I do need to turn into serum, but I don't I don't feel like I have to do it right now. That's the lower city. There's the tents. You guys, bizarre village gate. Escape pod, which we saw, to sewers, and this is another two sewers entrance, so. They both lead to the sewers. And, uh, I feel like that'll work just fine. Let's go! To the sewers. Alright. Oh boy. Time to rumble! Hang on, I gotta switch gears here. There we go. Absolutely manhandled. Absolutely manhandled. You guys didn't happen to have. Yeah, I was about to say, I thought I saw loot in here. Nice. And was that the only one? Yes. Alright. Oh, maybe I... Maybe we should do this really quick, just to regenerate. Yeah, we can just do this, like, on command. We can just get us all back to full, so... There's no reason not to. And then, armor-wise, Mission is wearing this. Which I don't have any bonuses for. I'm tempted to give her one of these. Here. You guys can split it. And then my lightsaber... Oh, I can't upgrade the, the modded one that I'm holding. Which makes it sort of fine, because it's kind of juiced anyway. It's pretty juiced, so. Okay, we can get rid of all that. And then the range, car splaster, he can get an upgrade. Nice, and mission has a vibro blade, but... I mean, her her main shtick is... Uh, her main shtick is... I mean, she doesn't have to be blasters. She could be melee, but, like, I like her better with blasters. So. Alright, we're gonna add them, and we're gonna dip. But that was good for upgrades. That was that was worth doing. So. That was worth doing. 
because uh, now that she has some more bonuses, and he, he got a bonuses to blasters, even if he lost a little bit of defense, just because having mission, having nothing is a little rough. Whoa! You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? I've got the proper papers. Papers? Don't wave those in my face. Anyone can forge papers. Don't call me crazy, but I'm suspicious of anyone wandering around in these sewers, even if they have papers. Unless you really? want me to take you in for questioning. Uh, my papers aren't forged. I'll, I'm down here on official Sith business. Okay, okay, you've got your papers. I get it. You can't blame me for being a little on edge after getting stuck with an assignment like this, wandering around these stinking sewers under constant attack from rack ghouls. We've already run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, I heard we lost one of our patrols in the Undercity. You lost the patrol? From what I heard, they were in the southern section of the Undercity. I found them already. The place was cut off. They haven't been heard from since. It's probably another rack ghoul attack. And nobody's even out looking for them. Finding those downed escape pods takes priority over everything else. Even the lives of a patrol. A order like that isn't good for morale. True. Um I need to get back to my mission now. Yeah, right. Same goes for us. Come on, boys. Let's get out of here. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of these filthy tunnels. Move out! Okay, well, good luck. Ooh. Play them. Nailed it. Outcast got mauled. Clearly. Promised Land Journal. There's somebody else down here. Yep. Someone else down here that uh, got attacked. Excuse me. Thank you. Alright. Uh, we should save it a lot because you never know when anything really bad might happen. Okay. And so far we have nothing but dead ends and only one way forward. So that does simplify things quite a bit. Orion. I guess we'll go ahead and activate this and then we'll run into melee. Oh, but not with that guy, though. There we go. Oh, they don't have blasters. But also weak as balls. <laughs> I mean, I say that, but uh, I also just got a juiced saber. That new saber I have is absolutely cracked, so. They might not even be that weak. It's just that the weapon I'm holding is absolutely insane. So that really, to be honest, I think that's more of the case. Of the fact that my damage is absolutely cracked. Okay, let's get rid of the mine so I can, like, relax. Okay. Force field control. That energy shield leads to another section of the sewers. The entrance to the Vulcar base is somewhere past there. Oh. I've got the codes to lower the shield, but we have to rescue Zalbar from those Gamorrean slavers. Don't worry. We can come back after we find Big Z. Okay. So that's the entrance hmm? to the Vulcar base. I'm just exploring every section, because sewers are big. And I want to find all the good loot. Um, let's go ahead and go upper one first. Okay. Huh? I didn't, I just clicked on, I don't even know what she's gonna do. Recover or just get rid of, but... Okay, there's a ladder. What? Oh, Lord. He actually is coming in behind us. I... There we go. That was surprising. <laughs> They're actually coming in behind us. Oh, okay, we're leaving. <laughs> Where are we going? Is this just the other... Okay, this is just the other entrance. Go back! Okay, so that's the other... There's the other entrance to the north and south. So the north and south really pretty much makes no difference. So, I know there's rat ghouls. It's fine. <laughs> Deleted. Okay, so we'll wrap around this way and Gamorian patrol, eh? 
Come here, you nerd. Dead. I suppose you're gonna have any uh, loot, are you? Okay, hang on. Huh? Mission, my darling, could you take care of this? And don't step on it, anybody. I know it's really exciting for them to what? step on mines and stuff and blow themselves up, but could we not? Glow Rod, Promised Land Journal, there's another outcast, good lord. We could activate it, uh, not me though. I would have mission do it, because it's gonna be much more efficient. Huh? We could, again, I just don't know if we need it, you know? I feel like we're just sort of cruising already, you know what I mean? So. feel like we don't really need it. And I'd rather save the parts for something we really could use. You know? Good morning. Dead. Absolutely annihilated. Absolutely annihilated. Oh, he had some fancy stuff. Okay, uh... So, this is a reflex save or fortitude save. I feel like I'd rather go fortitude. Not that I feel like I know, I super know the difference. They're just different kind of saves, you know what I mean? So he has a fortitude save already. Or no, that was, maybe that, that was me. Okay, there we go. So he can have the other one so you can get some saves. Nice. And then what is this? This is just, uh, 18. Yeah, so the heavy combat suit's the same, but he's already wearing one with bonuses, so I think it's fine. Alright. Hmm. Look at this. This is one of those old style manual locks. No computer codes or nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. Let's go. Zalbar, brother. Your are for sore eyes, Mission. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. Who's that with you? These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. Good to meet you, Zalbar. I'm Zahara Sartori. You know the language of my people. That's rare among your species. I'm impressed. You have saved me from a life of servitude and slavery. The only one I can ever repay such an act. I swear a life debt to you. A life debt? You sure about that, Big Z? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. I am sure, Mission. This is an issue of great importance to me. Because of our great physical strength, Wookiees are often used as slave labor on our own homeworld. You see, they see us as brutes and animals to be exploited. Over the years, slavers have taken many of my people. We must always be on guard against raids against our villages. When the Gamorians captured me, I thought I was doomed to a life of servitude. I have been saved from such a fate, and the only way I can repay that is through a life debt. Big Z swearing a Wookiee life debt to you? Wow, this is major. Do you realize what it means? Uh... It's some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? A life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. In the presence of all, I swear my life debt. Forever after, I will be by your side, Zahara Sartori. May my vow be as strong as the roots of the great uh, warsher trees of Kashyyyk. Honored to accept this vow. I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not going to happen again. Glad to have you aboard, Mission. So... I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Vulcan base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a backdoor into that scum den. Good, so when we get there, the better. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. I already found it. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. <laughs> Rancor? Are you serious? There used to be a Rancor monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. It pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge. Luckily, Rancors aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. That's uh, not really an option. Let's go. Okay then, off we go. 
Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. She just said northeast. Literally just said northeast. I know how party selection works, thanks. Okay, uh, sorry, Karth, you are out. I'm carrying these two. Upgrades! Alright, I leveled up, first of all. Persuasion, bro? It's just like nothing but persuasion, apparently. Ooh, I can grab this. I could use it for now, up until I go super dark side. So I think we'll grab heal, uh, for now. And affect mind. Ooh, dominate mind enables persuasive use of the forest. Once a Jedi has this power, extra options appear in dialogue, d conversations as appropriate. It's more powerful than affect mind. Very few beings can resist it. The power does not affect droids. Only the main player can select this power during level up. Oh shit, I'll take that. Dominate mine, by the way. I'm a little bit pretty even, pretty neutral, a little bit favoring dark, but uh, obviously no, no, no harm done there. And then you, what is your thing? So he does demolitions too, which means I can stop leveling that with mission, because if I have one or the other, uh, that would be good. He has really good awareness, really good treat injury. I'm going to give him repair and then treat injury. And so he doesn't do two weapon fighting. He has a bonus to... Oh, no, he can do implants. Okay. That's cool. Rapid shot. So, oh, he's a melee guy. So he has extra bonuses to melee. But he doesn't have two weapon. Two-handed weapon. Hmm. I could give him just, like, single... Like, single blade kind of thing. So I might do that. Which means I could give him dueling as well. All right. We're going to commit to giving him dueling. Okay, uh, so he has extra bonuses to melee. What's the best Viber Blade I have? So 615 prototypes probably, 817, 817. So, so far the best blade, yep, is the prototype. All right, so you can use that and he can't wear armor. Whoops. And I have nothing else to give you, brother. Okay, Yeah. you're with me, not you. I'm here. All right, the squad is assembled. We have rescued Zalbar. I have upgraded from whiny ass Karth to me. Let's see, we got that. I already explored in that room. I think this is just. Oh, okay, there we go. We were in here. This is where he was. That door is broke. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Other side. Oh, hang on. Uh, what? Mission, can you get? Past? No. Okay. Uh, there's a walk around me. Gotcha. Simple. Simple. Zat cards. Zalbar's bowcaster. Scope. Med pack. Grenades. Nice. Hmm? Very nice. But I just grabbed dueling, so like now his bowcaster isn't super useful. Oh, mission. Yeah? Can you um pop this door open for me? Gotcha. Simple. Oh lord. Okay. Uh. What? This way. What? They don't activate it? Kind of heresy. Kind of heresy is that shit? Hey, Big Z. We gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's sad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? They didn't. I wasn't their guest, Mission. I was a prisoner. I didn't think they cared much what happened to me. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. Eight I'm meals a day? Well, he's a big dude. From hunger. I did manage to take a chunk out of the arm of a guard that wandered too close to my cage, but it tasted awful, so I spit it out. Ew. No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Wookiees do not brush their teeth, Mission. It just isn't done. What humiliation will use of me next, a comb? Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. Thank you, you two. What? I need you to take care of the mine before one of, one of us steps on it. She almost stepped on it. She just about stepped on it. All right, there what? we go. Now we can go. And a corpse. With some minor loot. Oh, there's another one. Very nice. All right, what's going on over here?
Ah, okay. This is the other other side to the door that's broke at Zalbar's cage. Okay. That's pretty simple. And I think this will probably wrap us back around to the main uh, main room. Yes, it does. Kill him. Slay the death of the enemy. Nice. Oh no, it's not the main one. It's a different circular one. Well, we're not leaving until we explore it all, so... We'll find it. Alright, uh, some minor loot. Okay, that's it for this one. Okay, nothing there. And then it's just the one and done. Okay, let's just highlight the other side of that wall if I can on the mini map, which I can't. Zalbar, please! Thank you. <laughs> it's not 2007, don't go under trap me. Okay, so she has an, there's another mine. Uh -huh. Mission! Help. Although Zalbar could do it too, though. He has, like, really cracked demo as well. But I think Mission might have one higher, because I was leveling it on her, so. Rackle. Dead. Nice. It's nice having, having another dude in melee. Zalbar rip and tear is pretty good. Ooh, a corpse. Okay, some good minor stuff. There's like one credit. Salvar. Please. Is it just because you're so tall, or is there like another reason you're constantly corner trapping me? It's hard to control yourself with that much going on. Gamorian! Revenge for my brother! Dead. Making sure he doesn't have loot before I do. Okay, that other door that's back there just goes up into areas we already were, so... Gamorian compound. Oh, no, yeah, I already saw hey, that. Hey, Big Z, don't take this the wrong way, but lately, I've noticed you're starting to look a little bit scruffy. Scruffy? What are you talking about? I hope you aren't suggesting I take a bath. No, I'm not suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over last time. But your hair is getting all tangled, and uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. You're making this up. I groom every day. My hair is not tangled and I'm not going gray. Salvar looks fine to me. Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A little trim, a splash of coloring, and you'll be as good as new. Best looking Wookiee on the planet. Give me a nice suit. You don't trim a Wookiee, you don't color a Wookiee, and you certainly don't dress a Wookiee. I know, Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could start a whole new trend. You'd be on the cutting edge. I don't think so. Leave me alone. Okay, okay, sheesh. Try to offer some constructive criticism. This is the thanks I get? Let's move on. You can just stay naked and scruffy for all I care. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? He's like, just piss off. Are you being all, are you being such a nag because you were worried about me? All right, and just like that, kids, we've seen it all. All right, so force field. So yeah, and we ended up right back where we needed. That what? worked out very well. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. Convenient. I picked them off the pocket of a black bulker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. Thanks, babe. She, hang on again. There we go, logging in. Oh, there we go. She already did it. I'm here. Let's go. I was I was struggling. I was opening up my bottle to drink more, and suddenly there's stuff I had to do. Okay. But just about there, so that's kind of a great stopping place. So I think that is where we will call this one. And uh, we did so good. We did so good. We got all the sewage explored. We explored the Undercity. Um, we, yeah, I mean, we did, we did all the things, and it went really, really well, and, uh, I'm a machine, I, the damage I'm doing is actually insane, uh, I think the fancy saber I'm holding, that, I think I added a mod that it gave me, like, four new saber hilts, I believe, I think, I think it was a pack of four, and, uh, this might be one of them, because I don't recall that ever being a thing before, and, uh, this, and the saber's really fancy, you can see it's all curved there, and, 
and just and ju just chilling. You can see it's all fancy. It looks really cool. Anyway, and so uh, the damage is cracked, and I'm absolutely slaying right now. So that feels good. Anyway, and yeah, really looking forward to more, and uh, I'm having a blast of playing this, and uh, we will continue on. So, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later. Oh, did I just collateral that guy? Yeet. <laughs> there, you go first. He's like, I think it's clear, man. You're good. As the great Bob Ross would say, what a happy accident. Later, idiots. <laughs> I could hear Darth Vader in my head. I have you now. <laughs> no, walk it off, bro. You're okay. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> that was so perfect.